Hey guys, Robin Foxer back with another video. In this episode I'm going to pick the winner of the Team Foxer t-shirt. So I've got all of the entries on my laptop here and I have weeded out anybody that's had more than one entry, so it's fair. Um, I'll get in contact with that person and arrange to get that t-shirt out to you. It's been a busy week for me over the last uh, seven days or so. I've been out on Fox uh, Control myself, plus uh, I had a charity clay shooting competition last week also. So um, some videos coming up shortly of the foxes that have had this week, um, but for now let's find out who the winner of the t-shirt is. Scroll up, scroll down in a field sports-esque style and the winner is Mr Stavros30. Team Fox a t-shirt on its way to you sir. Uh, stay safe, happy shooting. So here I am on a solo mission, I walked into the field and as you can see there are three young cubs having a play around. Um, I first of all was looking around to see if there were any adults in the vicinity so um, that's why I didn't take any of the shots here but what I did do is I gave it a quick squeak uh, in a second just to see what the reaction of the cubs were. I wanted to see if they were already of the age where if you do squeak they sometimes come bombing in because I don't know what it is. Bit of a mixed reaction there. So after waiting for several minutes, no adults showed, so I took out one of the cubs, walked further into the field to see if I could see the others, and believe it or not, there was one actually laid down looking like it was going to get asleep. So I started squeaking, and sure enough, it came bombing in. The dog you can hear barking in the background is barking because at this point I'd already shot one of the cubs, though the Artec failed to record it, or I didn't push the record button. One of the two. Either way, we've got one in the bag with this one coming in fast. In that same minute I spun round and number three was just there. At about 120 yards the 53 grain round from the Tika put it down no problem. So we're off to a good start. I've actually got four in the bag at this point. One adult that I could not find in the neighbouring field. Now this is that elusive vixen that uh, you saw a week or two ago and I've seen this girl poof, too many times now and she's always out scavenging by uh, near the road and all the houses behind her and as always up until tonight posed uh, as you can see uh, issues with uh, the shots just being too risky um, you'll see just in a second a car goes right past behind it so clearly no safe shot there but her hours are numbered as we catch her up a little later on this lady is not for turning, or calling in for that matter. Clearly not wanting to play ball that time, so I buggered off over to the other side of the farm where I then proceeded to play cat and mouse uh, with a set of eyes for a good hour or so. Uh, upon my return to this side of the farm, this time there she is on the left hand side, the road's far over to our right. I decided it was a good idea at this point to stay where I was. I'm kind of thinking she's going to come out somewhere about there, so I proceeded to stay there for a while waiting for her to come to me. I knew that I perhaps wouldn't have long and I also knew that the window of opportunity would be relatively short. So, uh, and there you go, I skip forward now to the uh, about where she's just about to come into the field. If I can stop her here it's a long shot but I'm taking my chance. 
So she lets out a yelp and goes down. Though she's down, she's not out for the count, so I do need to go a little closer and stick one in the back of the head to make absolutely sure of the job. Uh, the photo's not pretty, but hey, that's foxing. I go over to the other side of the farm, see if I can catch up with that lad, and there he is standing there looking straight at me. 120 yards, bang, straight down. Really, really pleasing to get that one. And here is that big set of eyes that I kept seeing earlier in the evening. An absolute beast, a whopper at just over 47 inches and laid next to a normal sized vixen. He really does look like a bruiser. He would have done some serious damage to the pheasants later on in the year. And considering I just paid to uh, join that syndicate, it's a good one to get out of the way. As I mentioned earlier, it's been a busy week. I've also been out on the rabbits this week. Here's a couple of quick videos that I've done from a domestic rabbit job this week. 1022 Ruger on song as always. All that's left for me to say is congratulations to our competition winner. Thanks ever so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out our Team Foxer Facebook page. Stay safe, happy shooting.